Are we ready? Oh, this All right. meme. Okay. It's, it's official. Good morning. Good morning. How's it How going? are you after the epic race weekend? Yeah, really good. Felt really good. Good. Uh, no, no issues. No injuries. Um, yeah. How about you? Uh, better. I feel better. I, I caught a little cold during the uh, during those couple days over the weekend, but so coming out of it right now. Yeah, you look you look a little better than you did on the lift when I saw you one day. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Was it pretty bad? I felt pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did look pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, I did. You know what? You know what? I was surprised about how nice the accommodations were up there. Yeah. Yeah, so um, episode two, you got questions. Um, yeah, and yeah. I think I think accom accommodations were were great. They were easy. I booked them online. You didn't have to pay till you got there. Um, yeah, everything was great. Yeah, it, uh, and uh, you were saying this too, and I felt the same way as um, every video or YouTube we could see of of Mass and Nutton up there just looked dark and gringy and it didn't look that nice but it was beautiful up there and the accommodations were super nice it would have been a good place to bring like your wife or your girlfriend or your family or something yeah that that's i was thinking the exact same way like i would go there and just hang out like even yeah. if i was riding a mountain bike i mean they got a water park everything's lush yeah. green um the drive up there was beautiful like all that farm rolling hills with mountains in the background and all these old barns it was beautiful yeah i i agree the only issue i had with my place was the keys kept getting uh demagnetized and i got locked out of my room <laughs> a few times and yeah. on a uh, sunday morning race morning ollie and i got all of our stuff cleared out of the room i do hate when i have to leave on sunday because it's we have early practice yeah trying to get everything out of the room. I try to stay as often as I can through Monday. Um, yeah. But we had everything loaded up in the car and I turned the dishwasher on before I walked out of the, the room. Yeah. And I left my phone and the car key <laughs> in the apartment. I called before I left the room and said, I'm checking out. And she told me like, Hey, I'm the, the doors are going to be locked. You can't get back in. And so I walked oh. outside and as soon as I got to the car, I was so frustrated because I knew that I had locked myself in the car. So other than that, everything was great with accommodations. That was race day. That was race morning. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like starting out like that. No, yeah, that's a great start. I can only get better. Yeah. Hey, did you do anything special to prepare for this race? Yep. Um, I had to travel the week before, and I just intentionally tried to – I guess what you call taper where I didn't do a whole lot. I tried to rest. Um, I'd gotten a massage before I went on my work trip. I flew from Tampa to Vegas and then Vegas to Massanutten. And so I just, um, I think I would do a, maybe a, a little bit more than just nothing next time, but I definitely went into the race. I've had a, kind of like a plaguing lower back issue and I over trained before the last race. And so I was really stiff. So I definitely think tapering and kind of relaxing uh, the few days in heading into the race, that really helped me. What, yeah. about, what about you? I know you've kind of had some some sort of periods where you've been on the bike a lot or off the bike a, a little yeah. more than you wanted. What did you do? Yeah, um, I've been off the bike a lot in between the races, uh, which I don't like. I feel like for me to be my best, I need to be on that bike like every day. I, I swear one day goes by that I don't ride and I like to feel like I go backwards. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to ride during in between the races. And then this week, um, I just try to get as much practice in it as possible. It's kind of like my theory. So when, when I'm there, but it didn't work out too great because the flat tires and the uh and it rained in the morning so i got two laps in on saturday morning and then i got a flat tire and then i had to deal with that yeah that's frustrating with the equipment and whatnot um, yeah. you only get limited 
limited windows to practice. And so it does, I do feel like, you know, we took a lot of people to the race this time that had never raced from our little team, uh, Epic Bikes Downhill team. And I feel like a parent and I feel really OCD because I'm always like, everybody's got to have cush core, yeah. got to do this. Every, you know, I, I yeah. feel like I'm kind of being overly, um, uh, you know, yeah, just on yeah. everybody. But it, it yeah. is you know, it, like everything's got it. You, you got to stay on top of it because you only get these little windows to practice. So one thing like your yeah. wheel or brakes or something can, yeah. can mess the whole weekend up. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of equipment, like I was thinking, you know, did you bring any special equipment? I know I brought extra hip pads and knee pads. I brought extra hip pads, and knee pads and um and an extra wheel, a uh, rear wheel, but I didn't. I left it at the ho, uh, the place where we we're staying Saturday. So when we got done, we all drove one car. So I had to wait for everybody to kind of get back, and then we, when we went back home, I I put the uh, other rim on. Yeah, I I had you know had let Steven use my wheel for his race run and one practice run at the Monster Energy uh, race. He basically bent my rim and it was, it was pretty worked. <laughs> so I spent the two weeks between the races trying to get another wheel. Uh, we ended up having to have both of his wheels rebuilt. I'd watched the videos. You know, I knew that was where Nico had gone to test breaking wheels. So I anticipated yeah. having wheel issues. I made everybody have cush core on the team put in. I was putting cush core in people's wheels, like literally uh, the day yeah. before. And so I brought the, I did get a new wheel and I had it all set up, but I brought the bent wheel and my plan was to run that wheel until it gave out and then move to yeah. the other wheel. Um, yeah. But it actually held, it actually held. So. And that's a 27 with cush core? Yeah. 27.5 with cush core. I've been running the specialized cannibal tires this year. Ooh. Uh, ooh. So nice. other than, don't lend your wheels to Steven. Uh, I haven't had yeah. any issues. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing about that cannibal tire is? The fact that it's $80. It's like $20 cheaper than Max is and the other one. Yeah, it's been a great tire. You know, I was pretty skeptical. Yeah. So we we have uh, our team is uh, uh, specialized as part of our team. And so, nice. you know, everything that we have is, is specialized. And I, I've run Max's DHR and Asagai, uh, DHR2 in the rear, and Asagai for the last couple of years. So, you know, it's kind of hard to think about switching. Um, and so I just ordered up a bunch of their different tires and I've, I've been really happy with the Cannibal. It's, it's, uh, it's, it, they call it a dry tire, but it does seems to do well in everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I had the Cannibal up front too. Yeah. Great, great tire, definitely. Yeah. What else do we got? Um, so what did you think of the track? I I loved the track. I was really scared of it at first, uh, with the the slab in the beginning and the rock gardens and watching the videos, but um uh, I didn't actually get to track walk before. Uh, or so Friday I had to do, I had to work and I ended up, uh, eating up about an hour of my, uh, practice time initially. So I jumped in with the crew and they put me out front and I just blasted my first lap, probably faster than I should have. Um, yeah. and you know, there was definitely some sections I was pretty scared of at first, but I really came, I really walked away loving the track. Uh, I think it kind of fit well to, uh, what I've cut my teeth riding on, and I think it was a really good track for Steven as well. What What did you yeah. think of the track? It was a little different than what we're used to. Yeah, I love the track. I thought it was a great track. Um, I heard the same thing. It was going to be all rocks, and um, I was looking forward to that because I wanted to get some, like, rock training in. And, uh, and then I also noticed something about the rocks. There were different types of rocks. Like, up top was a rock slab off camber which is you know you got it when it rained i hit the back brake and like kind of slid down mm. so you gotta be really cautious of the brakes there 
And then I felt like the middle rock section was high speed with just not like, not a rock every second, but a bunch of rocks, but high speed. I had some trouble in that middle section. I kept getting bucked and kind of like thrown on my front hands there so through that middle section. And then the, my favorite section was the bottom section where it was just the rock garden. It felt like moguls, just rocks do, 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 every, every little second. That was fun though, I thought. Yeah, I, I don't think we have any like big rock slabs like that anywhere else on on any of the the races that I've been to. I don't I don't recall. I don't think yeah. there's anywhere else that we get that. Um, how hard did you fight for lines like in some of those middle sections where um, you know there definitely yeah. seemed to be lines, but it was kind of like you're blasting. Yeah, yeah. No, that those were tough. I don't feel like I found the right lines and like practice the right lines over and over and got them dialed in. It was kind of a, you know, I was trying to figure out like what, what, what was the hotline? I don't think I ever really figured it out and was able to really practice it. Yeah. It wasn't really until the last uh, couple of practice runs that, you know, for me, uh, the speed was was starting to come up towards the end and what i think i started to to you know jerry calls it like putting it all together you know like yeah. you can put it all together and i i think as i start to feel more comfortable uh gapping things and when i start to feel like i'm pumping more and when I do feel like I'm fighting to get to a line that I want to get, I felt like it was start. I was starting to put it all together. I, I needed a little bit more time. Yeah. Um, at first, yeah. I felt like I was just blasting through stuff, and then yeah. you know, got so, a little bit of coaching and saw some things. I did two track walks, um, but it was interesting that I felt like the, you know my speed came with me getting more comfortable with doing with gapping stuff or being a little bit more aggressive uh, on certain areas. And, and I wish I would, I think one more day um, I would have, it would have, I was having fun, but I think it would have really come alive. Yeah. 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 That, and, you know, I think what would have helped me a lot, my friend did and I didn't is the GoPro. Hmm. And studying the GoPro, I meant to do it, but I only had two practices on Saturday and it was wet and then I had to deal with the tire. But that GoPro is so important, I think, to at least get yourself familiar with the track. You know, like at the end of Friday or the end of Saturday, you're, you're not wondering about, oh, what's coming up after this section or what's, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it, I think absolutely the gopro has become for me personally it's like track walk and reviewing my gopro footage at night has just been a part of the process what was yeah. what was really clutch this time was will had his gopro and i had my gopro and yeah. we lined up the laptops and we started to deduct what line choices were actually faster by you know he chose a different line i chose a different line and there was one of the lower rocks garden sections, like I felt like my line was good and smooth. He was, yeah. out, he was out at the bottom before I'd gotten through. And I don't <laughs> think I would have really noticed that until we did the GoPros side by side, saw the times and it was like, okay, well clearly, clearly that line was faster. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's really cool. That would be a huge benefit. Yeah. Especially, especially that, that place. I, I was really hesitant on, man, is this line, this line's quicker, but I'm hitting way more rocks and getting slowed down by the rocks. Or should I just go this other, uh, this longer route, but faster route? Yeah, yeah. that would have been. I remember, uh, I, I think we, we rode together, like maybe my second or third lap or something like that. But I think it was the lap before that. I remember, I think it was my first lap. I was coming down this area. And you like laugh. You were like laughing at me, and you took some high line, and you just like flew right past me. You're like, ah, ah. <laughs> it was like, it's pretty funny. It's like clearly that was a lot faster to go that way than the way than the way I was going. Yeah, you know, we need to uh, to 
to uh, follow Jerry more and yeah. steal his lines. The, the, the problem is I can't keep up with Jerry. So yeah. like, he's always right. so nice to me and he'll be, he'll like, sometimes he'll say things like, you know, I'll, I'll have gone through a section or whatever. And he's like, well, you, you know, you, you, you did that. And I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about, but yeah. he'll, he'll right. he's always patient. He'll stop for me and he'll wait for me and he'll be like, okay, you know, follow me through this section. And I'm like, sounds good. And I like look up and he's gone. And I'm like, he's already, he's like, he's so fast that like, yeah. you know, but yeah. I definitely, yeah. So yeah. He, at the end of the race, he's like, Hey, what lines you do down the uh, last rock garden? I'm like, Oh, far left. You know, like, of course that's what everyone's doing. Right. He's like, ah, I went far right on the grass. Didn't even hit a rock. I'm like what? I never even saw that line. <laughs> I, do you remember, I think this was the lap we did. Do you remember when we went, uh, it was like that kind of like S and we were going far right. Uh, and it was a little bit of kind of like a weird steep little, little shoot. And then there was, the, there was the inside line. Do you remember when we, when we did that together, we went on that outside? No. <laughs> so, so you and I, we had, we had done that. Well, yeah, I rode a lap uh, a little bit later with Jerry and that was another area like I didn't even see the inside line because you because it's so obvious where you go you know you do that yeah. wide sweeping high line and yeah. I was in the middle of that and he's like you know lower line or you should have took the lower <laughs> line or something and like he was like behind me and he's <laughs> gone before I even, even came out of that so yeah <laughs> He's giving you advice as he's going by. Now. Yeah, as he's passing and waving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a great one, though, man. He would be a great teacher. We should try and try and stick with him more on each race. Yeah, I. I, I yeah, I learned so much from him. Always, he's 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 such a nice guy, and he's always yeah. just willing to to help you out. Yeah. So, yeah, and we got a new guy that Jerry was talking about he um saying like i guess they used to battle back in the day yeah yeah he uh andy um yeah i don't know much about him and uh, but uh yeah. yeah he was he was talking about him i mean anybody that jerry's calling out is making him nervous uh he's yeah have respect for her yeah yeah that's awesome and we and 17 people i think we had that was pretty big for us that was a big group. I mean, we could yeah. barely all fit in a, in, a, in a picture. So yeah, I don't know why we had so many that race. I wonder. This 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 because of you. I think there was a <laughs> lot of like <laughs> Steve's <laughs> there. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think I think that's pretty much. I can't think of anything else I learned except for. Man, the more prep with like nutrition and bike prep the better and uh, the gopro was a big one for me and uh yeah cause the, i mean the bike prep if you know i forgot the extra wheel if i would have had that i could have practiced the rest of saturday but i only got two laps in and then i couldn't practice the rest of saturday because you know i just wasn't prepared yeah i think i think it's um you know, I've gotten to the point now where I have this box, uh, I call it my bike shop box, and the way things get added to that box are things that happen during a race that I didn't have or I should have brought. And so at this point, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff in there and um, yeah, like one one little thing. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you remember this, but when we were at Snowshoe and I put my derailleur through my rear wheel, um, and I spent like a whole day trying to come up. I ended up with like a cross country rear wheel uh, for my race run. And after yeah. that, I always bring a spare wheel. And so just, you know, uh, little things like that. I've always got an extra front brake. I, you know, just, uh, you know, I feel like uh, each time you have a little catastrophe, it, it makes you prepare yeah. for the next one a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard because you don't want to spend all that money up front, but you're going there spending all the time and all the money. It's it's so much better when, like you said, you got the extra brake right there. Especially, it seems like rims and extra rims and tires are the big one for sure. 
So my question to you is, are you a believer in Kushcore now? And will you be running Kushcore full time? Uh, good question. I don't know if I know enough okay. to pull this tail. I mean, I had a 29er and I ran a tube and I ran like maybe 34 pounds of pressure in the rear and I got two flats. Mm -hmm. And then I switched to the extra rim I had was a 27.5 with Kushcore. And, um, but that was only just for the race day and, yeah. and it worked, it worked great. I kind of wish I had the 29. I felt like that rolled better, Yeah, but, but it got flat. Yeah. I don't know. How do you feel about Kush core? You're, you're big on the Kush core. Yeah. I mean, Stevens since day one, he won't even ride without Kush core. Uh, oh, really? front and rear. Yeah. yeah. I kind of feel like Kush core light. I might be into. Yeah. Like a, not such a big giant heavy one because they seem like they add a lot of weight to it i don't think it adds weight because it's so, it's just a little foam ream but it does it does create a a little bit of a different rolling feel um but i feel like i'm not great at this yet and this isn't this is this isn't why i would say i run kush core for me personally i run kush core to protect my my wheels first and foremost but you know, Steven's definitely running Kush core to protect his wheels, but also to have the optimal, um, you know, optimal air pressure in his tires and he can run a lower air pressure in his tires. So, you know, his argument would be anything from in the field, you do get really used to it. In fact, it's almost, it's almost unnerving to me to not have that feeling now at this point, like it, it feels like riding without my knee pads or without my chest guard on. And so it, it, it is a little different feel. I don't think it's weight, but you can lower your air pressure uh, a little bit more. And so you can work with that in terms of your cornering, in terms of your, you know, that, the, the tire because if you have to over inflate your tire you're also changing the dynamics of the tread pattern so you're you know where you're going to lock up on the on the side lugs and and all that kind of stuff so yeah yeah i oh, mean speaking of uh knee pads i forgot my knee pads i have like four sets of knee pads and i forgot them and then if anybody knows mike he's it was in the group below us the 40 plus yeah he I rode up with him on the lift and uh, he's like, Oh, you need an extra set. I got it in the back of my truck, go down there and grab them. I'm like, yeah, great. And then I just didn't see him after the race and wasn't able to uh, get it back to him. So if anybody knows him, let me know who he is so I can get those knee pads back to him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I think, I think, you know, look, this is episode two. We're going to get better at this. I appreciate you having yeah. the questions this time. Uh, we'll try to post it around on a few different spots. And, you know, I think the, the point of this for me is I, I appreciated that question. You know, what did you learn? I think yeah. having a postmortem after these races and talking about yeah. things and just trying to continually get better and then share that information out with, yeah. with anybody that's interested. Yeah, they're such epic r races. It's it's where everyone has been great. They've been hard in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then after you make it to the race and you do the race run, you're like, oh, man, I'm so glad I came and I pushed through and I did all the work. And, yeah, they're really not, they're a really good thing. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, um, you know, you were talking about your race run. I felt like I had a few I have a few things to clean up. But I felt like going, you know, this particular race, I was really happy with my race run. My results wasn't quite where I wanted it, but I didn't have anything to blame in terms of like body felt great, bike felt great. Yeah. Um, just a few little mistakes. One of my biggest things that I that I learned from this race is I've got to learn how to pass better. Um, I had yeah. a where I backed off. I wasn't aggressive in a passing situation. I don't want to be that guy screaming on your left and push somebody <laughs> off a cliff. So yeah. you know, I just had a few things like that. I started slow. Um, I need to be a little bit more aggressive, but I felt like in the middle of the track, I was as fast as I could have gone. Uh, I think if I would have passed efficiently, I would have probably come up a little bit, but yeah. I, was little, I was frustrated at the end of my race run this time, but it wasn't frustration of like, oh, I got to go home and like get my cardio better. Or I wish I would have ate better. Or, my bike did this. Like 
I felt like everything was there. Um, I just got to, I got to, you know, I got to pass better and I got to be a little bit more aggressive and that's just on me. Yeah. How do, that's a great, would be a great thing to learn. That is really hard to pass someone because if you're going the same, if you catch up to somebody in a race run and you're going the same speed, just following them, you, you don't have like the motor. So, you, so it's hard to, it's almost, I feel like you almost have to stay back a little and time where you're going to pass them so you can you're catching up to them with the speed that you need and then pass them at the right spot but that's really hard to do yeah and i think i was taking the the yelling or being like a you know not yelling like get out of my way but like yelling yeah. like that you're there i think yeah. it's actually safer to do that because it gives the person that you need to pass an opportunity yeah. to quickly figure out what's the what's the best yeah. place and the safest place to 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 move over, yeah. and I think I took the yelling or like you know rider rider rider. I just need to be more aggressive because if somebody's coming up behind me, I don't want to mm -hmm. slow them down, and I just want to get to the safest place to get out of the way mm -hmm. for both of us. And I need to keep that mentality of like if I see somebody, you know, don't don't just shut it down, which is kind of what I did. And right. then start yelling, rider, 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 so that the person right. in front of you can like make a safe, you know, a safe yeah. exit the course. And and that's yeah. just on me to to be more diligent yeah. with that. You know, I feel the same way. I hate being that. Hey, on your left, on your left. Yeah. But I, it would be nice if they also knew. Or hey, are you on my right or are you on my left? Because yeah. then when they pull, over, they can pull over to the other side. Yeah, I agree with that. And um, yeah, so. Next race for us together, yeah. with Shoshu, and and it sounds like uh, you might do possibly jump in a couple of races, uh, either yeah. at Rock Creek or at Winrock in between. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I, I feel like the more racing, the better. Anything specific besides going to another race you're going to do between now and, and Snowshoe? Yeah, I'd like to build a jump at my property here and and practice jumping. I feel like jumping's a big one i'd like to feel more comfortable with bigger jumps i gotta tell you man that jump line we did creamy butter <laughs> nuttery butter whatever that thing was that jump line yeah freaking awesome it was it was awesome i wish we had more of that up here where it's just it was like to me the theory on that was turn jump 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 turn the other way jump 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 turn just every stray was just jumps yeah and yeah. down the whole thing i feel like i wish we had more of that up here i think those were uh probably some of the longest gaps even though they weren't high gaps or yeah. deep i think a couple of those as i started to really trust the jumps um i think those mm -hmm. were probably some of the longest gaps that i've ever done um yeah. You know, nice. it felt great. I mean, you were riding awesome. I'm gonna post that video. It's really fun. We're both like hooting and hollering and and uh yeah. 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 I mean, that's what I think. That's what I'm trying to find. That was a, a really user friendly jump line too. You know, to get used to that and then progress, you know. So yeah, that's what I hope to do. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, yeah. Anything? I think we, I think we, I think we learned something, which is, which yeah. is positive. And um, yeah, let's uh, get ready for the next one. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks, Steve. See you, buddy. All right, wait.